And he's got a powerful answer to self-absorbed Londoners. Darren, go on. I know you're not happy about this. I'm not, I'm not. I, th I find it absolutely extraordinary, actually, given that, you know, we've got the likes of Nissan up here. As far as the, the electric car revolution that's going to come to Britain, the North East is actually doing quite well, thank you very much, right? I just find it incredible that an advisor to a chancellor who has to be, Dan, I mean, you've mentioned it on the show many times, one of the most prominent advocates of the whole levelling up agenda, right? He is leading the charge in that respect. And that's all about what is levelling up. Well, that's all about the, the sort of evening of the, the playing field between the regions and breaking down economic patterns and, and places like London, for example, where Dan, frankly, you you see people leave universities up here in the Northeast and think, well, I've got to go to London, right? That's where the jobs are. That's the only place I can go after university. And what we're saying is actually, in order to ensure that the, we can attract the sort of jobs and, and businesses to the regions, is through devolution, right? Is through actually saying to areas, you can get an Andy Burnham, you can get a Ben Houchen, you can get an Andy Street, that actually says, we're gonna make ourselves more competitive, whether that be through taxation and all the rest of it, and actually give us a fighting chance to, to attract this foreign direct investment and all the rest of it. Because right now, the makeup of London being, this, the economy being so, with a laser-like focus, yeah. determined to do everything in London, centralized to the extreme in London, I actually say we should ignore the government advisor who is quite simply telling us little northerners, right, that we should keep shum and we must learn to know our place and not aspire to have the levels of investment and wages to actually rival London. Ultimately, people in SW1, Dan, who, who sneer at the likes of the North, forget that the North kickstarted the Industrial Revolution, for example, right? They forget that it was our, the black gold that kickstarted the whole Industrial Revolution that powered an empire. I think he's totally wrong, utterly wrong, to believe that Northerners should just accept smaller wages. Why can't we? Serious question. Why can't we? aspire to see the huge investment levels that were once in London now actually come to other parts, other regions of the UK. Isn't that part of being one shared family, four, reg four part constituent parts of the UK actually benefiting from what Team GB can actually do around the world? I genuinely think devolution and levelling up can actually bring about a more level playing field and make it better for people up and down the country who for far too long, Dan, have said, well, I don't know about you, but it looks like there's an awful lot going on in London and not enough going on up here.